Let's compare the serial trigger and serial decode capabilities of the Regal 7000 series and the Tektronix MDO 3000 series. To begin with, I have connected both instruments to the same I2C serial communication bus, where channel 1 in yellow on both instruments is the clock line, and channel 2 in blue is the data line. The Tektronix is firmware version 1.26. To start off with, we're going to look at the Tektronix MDO 3000 series on how to set up their serial trigger and their serial decode for an I2C signal. To set up their serial trigger, first you go into their trigger menu, and then from there you change their type to bus. And at this point what you do is then you press bus 1 or bus 2. They can only decode two different serial protocols at the same time. And from there, we can then go into our bus system, and we can change our different bus settings from either parallel, I2C, or SPI. Once we've done that, we can define each channel. So on channel 1, we have our clock, which we define with the multi-purpose knob A. And then for channel 2 is our data line. We can use channel B to select that. Once we've defined our two channels, we then set our thresholds. In order to do that, A is for our yellow signal on channel 1, and B is for our blue signal. And we do that just by changing the knobs until we have pretty good sort of communication. And what we have here at this point is both the instrument is now triggering on our I2C signal, but also it is now decoding it right here in the middle of the screen. And we can move this over slightly just to give us a better idea, where we can actually see it being decoded in hex values. In order to show how to set up the serial trigger and decode capabilities of the Regal 7000 series, just like with Tektronix, I'm going to start with the serial trigger. In order to do this, I use the trigger menu, and then I go through and I select I2C. Once I've selected I2C, I can then select our channels. For clock, I'm choosing channel 1. For data, I'm going to choose channel 2. And at this point, we are now triggering on our I2C signal. In order to decode the signal, I then go into our decode menu, where we can choose up to four different serial decodes all at once. And I can select one, and then I change our type to I2C. And at this point, I can copy the trigger settings. And then, just like with Tektronix, I have to set up our thresholds. In order to do this, I can use the menu. And then once they're set up, I just have to turn our serial bus on, and what we'll see here is we're now decoding our I2C signal, where we're displaying hex values as well. Both the Regal 7000 series and the Tektronix MDO 3000 series require the user to first set up serial triggering, and then require the user to associate each channel and set up their thresholds.